Hello again YouTube, today we're going to be doing a video on if the 2016 Mustang GT is the right car for you guys. In this video we're just going to generalize what it would be like to drive this car as a daily driver now the five categories that we're going to talk about are space inside of the vehicle mpg reliability the maintenance to maintain a vehicle such as this and the realistic realisticness of driving this car as a daily driver now one of the most important things i think about the mustang gt is that it is a huge car but it actually doesn't fit a lot of things in the cab and the trunk with having 13.5 cubic feet in the trunk, a suitcase, and even a carry-on duffel bag into the trunk back here. We can put the suitcase and the carry-on duffel bag perfectly in the back of the trunk, still having a 12 inch sub. Now in the back seating for the 2016 Mustang GT, I think it is probably the most, if not the only important thing in the cab that is uh, needing recognition about how spacious it is back here because it really isn't. Uh, being someone that's 5'10", which I think is an average height for someone, my head is hitting the roof at the top here and my legs aren't that comfortable, especially when you pull the front, or the, uh, front driver's seat back my knees are hitting the back of the seat so if I want any comfortability I'm gonna have to lean over in the other backseat passengers area and that might conflict with the other passenger now the next thing that I think is really important to talk about and having this car as a daily driver is the miles per gallon a realistic number of what someone will get when driving this car in the city and on the highway now online they say that the 2016 Mustang GT on average gets between 17 and 25 miles per gallon 17 being city 25 being highway now that goes hand in hand depending on how hard the person drives the car depending on if it's a manual or automatic and a lot of people say that they can drive a manual and get better gas mileage than an automatic me personally I get about 11 miles in the city driving the way I do and about 22 on highway and that averages depending on like I said how I drive just from my driving habits I would say that influences the numbers and pushes them a lot lower than what is expected to get out of the 5.0. Now the next topic that I want to talk about and I think influences me the most in how expensive owning, not so expensive, but the price does rise with this next category. And the next category being maintenance of the car. Now the most expensive thing for me in owning and maintaining this car is the rubber on the wheels. Now the tires aren't necessarily the cheapest having 255s in the front and 275s in the rear. But from factory, Ford does put Pirelli P0s on the car which are a very low tread wear level tire. I went around and changed all four tires to Bridgestone Potenza SO4 pole positions which run at a 400 AAA rating which is a much harder tire, still performs really well but it doesn't shred as easily as the P0s. Now just something else to consider here depending on which Mustang package you buy this being the performance package which has the six piston Brembo calipers it is a little pricey to replace the brake pads up in the front they do run a little bit more expensive so that's something else you'll have to consider when daily driving in this car and how fast your pads will wear out now doing oil changes is extremely important in maintaining a healthy engine in your Mustang having synthetic oil it's not necessarily needed to change your oil as frequently but it is definitely something to consider when you are daily driving this vehicle. And lastly for maintenance, although Ford does build fairly reliable and well-built cars, it is American made so there are some parts that might break. For instance, I've had the car for about a year and my shifting collar that you put into reverse in the vehicle broke on me. So in order for me to go into reverse for about two weeks, I had to pull the boot and go into reverse and it was kind of a hassle. All right, next thing I'd like to talk about is reliability of the vehicle. Now the car is a little bit too new to really do a reliability test on the car. I have driven it for 20,000 miles. I hit 20,000 miles about a week ago. And like I said in the previous clip, my shifting collar did break on me. 
Um, was that necessarily something that might happen to everyone's car? No, but it is just an example to show you some of the quality that Ford does build. Now the lines don't really meet up completely in the back bumper. There are a couple off spots that show gaps wider than other areas, which also shows manufacturing flaws in Ford's manufacturers. And the car hasn't given me any issues in general. Car started for me all the time and it's a really good car to drive. Gets you around, gets you where you need to go. And yeah, I've had no issues with it so far. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is driving the car and really my experience with having the car for a year now and how it is driving it as a daily car because this is the car that I drive to school, to work, on trips, um, everywhere. And the car has treated me very well. I've had no issues with it besides the shifting collar breaking, um, having to go through a few sets of tires before realizing that um, Pirelli was not the way to go. I think Ford should change that. As for the clutch and traffic, the clutch is, clutch is fairly stiff, but it's not anything insane um, to have to deal with in traffic uh, with any other manual vehicle. I mean, depending on who the, who the owner is and how you treat your cars, I like to park fairly far out in parking lots. I mean, that's just something else to consider. As for a daily driver, I think it is an excellent car for someone that is willing to put up the extra money for the maintenance issues and uh, really just okay with getting the gas mileage that it does. But uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts about the car, my experiences with it, and really what I've been through with the car for a year now and 20,000 miles. Like I said, just depending on how much you're willing to spend uh, will really justify whether you want this car or not. So that's it, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Check out my channel for more videos about car related things and the Mustang. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.